Here, we're going to do a problem that focuses on electroplating calculations and dimensional analysis. Uh, it's part of some AP Chem resources you can find right here. So, a chemist wants to plate out 1.50 grams of solid cadmium from an aqueous solution containing CD2 plus ions. A current of 10 amperes is applied throughout the process. Which equation solves for how many seconds of time are required for this process. Whenever you see a problem like this that's talking about electroplating and giving you current and grams and all that sort of stuff, we're probably going to be doing a problem that involves Faraday's constant, which is given on the test as 96,485 coulombs per moles of electrons. And Faraday's constant is useful because it allows us to go between moles and current. We'll see how to do that a little bit later, okay? But this is going to be a key part of the problem. Okay, we're going to temporarily make some space here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put together a chain of conversion factors to answer this problem. We're going to start out with 150 grams of solid cadmium, 150 grams right there, and we're going to end up with this chain of conversion factors that gives us a final answer of time in seconds. Okay. The first thing that we want to do is convert from grams of cadmium to moles of cadmium. And we're going to do that by using the molar mass of cadmium. Okay, we can get that right from the periodic table, and we arrange that as a conversion factor so that grams of cadmium cancel. That's going to leave us with moles of cadmium. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is use a conversion factor that converts moles of cadmium to moles of electrons. This is a really important step, okay? Reducing one mole of cadmium requires two moles of electrons, okay? We know this because the cation has a two plus charge, CD2 plus. So for each mole of CD2 plus, it takes two moles of electrons. So that's where this next conversion factor comes from. One mole of cadmium per two moles of electrons. And we arrange this conversion factor so that moles of cadmium cancels. There we go. Now we have moles of electrons. We're getting closer. All right. Now it's time to use Faraday's constant, okay? Which is going to let us go from moles of electrons to coulombs. We set it up like this so that moles of electrons cancel. And now our last step is to convert coulombs to seconds. We do that through the use of the unit ampere. One ampere equals one coulomb per second. For whatever reason, this relationship isn't given on the AP exam, so you wanna make sure you have it memorized before the test. Okay, according to the problem, it says that we use a current of 10 amperes to plate out 1.50 grams of cadmium, okay? So 10 amperes is the same thing as 10 coulombs per second. 10 coulombs per second is gonna be our conversion factor. 10 coulombs per second, we're gonna to wanna to flip it around to put 10 coulombs on the bottom, one second on the top. That's gonna to allow us to cancel out coulombs. There we go. All of our units cancel except for seconds, which is exactly what we want here. Our final unit is seconds, it's in time, okay? Now, if we had to do the math, we'd end up with 257 seconds, but you don't have to do that. If you look at the answer choices, all it does is set up the math and ask which one of these is correct. Okay, so what the math is gonna be is 1.50 times two times 96,485 divided by 112.41 times 10. And this corresponds to answer choice A. Everything on the top of the fractions is on the top. Everything on the bottom, on the denominators, is on the bottom. Now, if you really know what you're doing, you probably could have figured out that A was the correct answer after only the first step, okay? And that's because A is the only answer choice that has 
1.50 in the numerator and 112.41 in the denominator. All right, that would be a gutsy move to choose choice A after just the first step. But if you really know what you're doing, it can save time. As always though, you should know how to do the full problem because you never know when the test is gonna trick you. But that's how we solve an electroplating problem like this with a bunch of conversion factors almost always involving Faraday's constant.